Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. If you want to catch the latest Memes of the Week videos, then subscribe to me over at MGTOW TV. Link is in the description. Plus, you'll get content from people like Turd Flinging Monkey and Terrence Pop, just to name a few on the platform as well. Also, before I get on with the memes, first let me tell everyone about today's sponsor, Profit Specialist Group. Why let some woman use your points to fly her dog to Fiji first class? If you're a business owner, stop paying for your customers' reward points, bonus air miles, and cash back. Robert Rivera is a fellow MGTOW that helps businesses that take credit card payments get rid of those fees you pay to the bank. If you're accepting credit cards, he can save your company $6,000 or more annually on the fees. Watch the tutorial video or visit the Cash is King CC website. These sponsor links are in the description. Now on with the memes. This week's first one asks everyone the question, can a woman be overweight and hot at the same time? Yes, of course she can. It's called menopause, when she gets her hot flashes. Also, if she follows the laws of physics with rising temperatures, bodies grow bigger. But seriously, I think the answer is yes, so long as you have enough beer before you actually see her. Sometimes the right margarita can take 100 pounds of flesh off a senorita. Especially if that woman looks like the Michelin mascot. Moving on, we have a knockoff Mickey and Minnie Mouse at the hospital. And it looks like Donald went down on Minnie more than a few times. This is why mandatory DNA testing at birth should be done to give the father the same certainty that the child is his that the mother has. The only reason it hasn't been done yet is because many women have something to hide. Somewhere out there you know there's a half duckling, half mouseling somewhere. Number three is one I thought was dumb but a lot of guys clicked on it. That's right. Clits turning men gay since the start of history. I guess many women envy men's penises because nature gifted them ones the size of rice kernels. If they were any bigger then you know they'd try and give it to you up your swing swing. Up next we have Undead Chronic's ex-girlfriend on the left and the woman she became on the right after he dumped her. She couldn't handle being alone, so she's trying to blimp up to 550 pounds. We all want to see her keep going, so that she eventually can John Candy herself. The worst part is she doesn't want men to approach her unless they approach with money. If she was in Africa, they may mistake her for wildlife and try and poach her. Take a look. This is why healthcare is so expensive in the United States. Number 5, we have Christina Bykova, a hot 28-year-old banking executive in Moscow, and what was a mysterious fatality? She was a top bank executive. Too bad she couldn't have turned into the Catwoman the way that Michelle Pfeiffer did when Shrek pushed her out a window and Batman returns. Number six, we have a man that was ended in a painful way by a group of guys with a chainsaw. They were wielding it around as pedo hunters after his wife falsely accused him of molesting their daughters. His wife even let the thugs into their house so they could attack him. If this isn't an advertisement to not get married, then I don't know what is. I'll bet you anything she'll only do 20 months worth of hard time because someone has to raise those kids. Moving on is an illustration that most guys don't understand. Why are there three boomsticks, a giant TV, and movie or game poster on her wall? Well, because when you first start dating her, she was keeping a mental note of all the things that you were interested in and enjoy. So she decided that she could play the part of the female chameleon. Then again, those could be her husband's boomsticks, and you better run, sucker. Number eight, we have a whammon that says... Women in general lose their value when they beg a man to stay, and that if he doesn't commit, they should just let him go. Meanwhile, in reality, she'll be knocking on his door in a few months, begging him to take her back. But if he's a man of high value, he doesn't have to commit, because there are plenty of cubbyhole cooches out there that he can get his conk wet in. Plus, if he does what she wants, commit, then he fails the shit test. No thank you. Next up, we have a whammon that says the skin on her face cleared up, and all she had to do is let her BF bust a nun on her face every night. I hear zinc is good for the body, but I had the impression it had to be ingested through mouth-to-junk resuscitation to have any real benefits. I guess she found the perfect protein cleanser, and we should definitely trust the science on this one. But seriously, she looks like she has psoriasis, and then she got some tanning done with UV light, which regulates your immune system and kills white blood cells in your skin, apparently. So that could be the real reason. I hope her boyfriend doesn't tell her. Number 10, we have a woman and her husband lost her job and she's considering leaving him. He was making five hundred dollars to $700,000 a year and can now only get offers for $250,000. You see, folks, even six figures aren't enough for many of the thoughts out there these days. He used to give her a $10,000 a month allowance, but now it's been slashed to 3000 
And she says there are other guys at his medical practice that make more than $500,000 a year. And she's wondering if she can monkey branch to one of them instead. Moving on, we have a record number of people in the United States at the age of 40 that are unmarried. Expect the percentage to grow over the next 10 years, with the introduction of AI girlfriends and more men getting red-pilled and going their own way. Also, this is those that have never been married and doesn't include those that are currently divorced. So it explains why 50% of people at the age of 40 or after are single these days. Number 12, we have a real prize pony. She moved across the country to be with a man while leaving her four-year-old son back at home. He supported her and worshipped her, and she still smashed his boss and got them both fired. And she kept lying to him until she basically spit in his face and left him. She isn't even all that attractive. What bozo would let this chipmunk into his house? Up next, we have an ad that apparently appeared on Facebook for a friendship and love app. It says Ukrainian women need the protection and support from strong Western men. This isn't even about love, it seems. It sounds like a scam where you pay foreign women to friends on you. At the bottom, it says that friendship is a captivating bond that impacts our lives in various ways, and it's a service for men that are over 35, i.e. men that have money and that are gullible and trusting and don't understand the state of today's sexual marketplace. Number 14 is partially purple-haired Kathleen Kennedy overseeing the destruction of Disney Lucasfilm with the release of Indiana Jones and the Diaper of Diarrhea film. There's nothing left to ruin now. Men build things up and women destroy them. That's nothing new. But does it even matter when there's so many wokesters out there buying Star Wars Lego merchandise like it's going out of style? Moving on, we have a prime example of older women trying to rig the sexual marketplace playing field. One guy says that if you're in your 30s, you shouldn't seek romance from college students if you're a dude. A woman then pipes in and says that men in their 40s shouldn't be seeking anything from 20-something women. One other woman, Vanessa, says that women in their 20s can't consent being with men in their 30s. Looks like someone doesn't like the high-quality men around her age dating younger women. Well, she has to date her cats. But according to her, sex workers are okay because they can consent. Number 16, we have four fine Asian-American women that won the 2022 European Girls Mathematical Olympiad. They might be good at math, but they're definitely not tens. They're more like threes and fours at best. In 20 years, you know that the winners of the Mathematical European Girls Olympiad will be wearing burqas, so their identities will be concealed. More than likely, the German Taliban will cancel the competition for girls entirely. Up next is this fat positive influencer who weighs 258 pounds and says she looks gorgeous. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing she's influencing is the gravitational field of the earth, on account of all that mass on her ass. I bet you that even her cats cringe when they see her. I can't wait to see your medical bills. Looks like she'll just keep eating her copium. Up next, I have a picture showing you that being a dude isn't easy from the face of Ellen and then Elliot Page. Elliot now probably realizes that the patriarchy is meritocracy and that the girly boys are at the bottom of the list. This poor individual looks like they've aged 30 years and Page is only 36. Moving on, you know it's true when a woman releases her crocodile tears even while she's lying to you. This is probably the same face she'll give you when you catch her cheating, and she'll be lying to you that she never did. If they cry, they try and activate your white knighting instinct so you don't smack them for burning the house down or leaving the dog out to freeze in the snow. Number 20, I started doing my happy dance when I saw this headline. But alas, it seems too good to be true, because she was later seen in the streets in her Nikes. People call me cruel for wishing her ill, but remember that she was the one that pushed the jibby jabs that injured thousands of people. But apparently someone then mentions that this picture was taken a day before hospitalization. And now Rosie O'Donnell is assuring fans that Madonna is well and resting at home. She also got her 29-year-old boyfriend to sign an NDA, so she can pretty much keep certain parts of her life private. Number 21 is a woman that discovered a new level of cheapness in a man that she was on a date with. Her date asked her if she wouldn't mind paying for her half of the ticket to the zoo. She did, which to me means that she's proving to him that he's a high-quality man. And then he ended up pulling out a two-for-one voucher, so she paid and he went for free. I used to split meals with women at restaurants and then wrote them off for business. So I only had to pay 40% of my meal. That's me at the bottom of the picture. LOL. Up next, we have another smart man taking advantage of a tart by charging her $192 for an oil change. Which, according to her, is a good deal. Because apparently he thinks that she's cute. He probably charged her that much because of all the bleach he had to buy to erase the tattoo impressions from his eyeballs. Number 23 is a 44-year-old vaccinated woman that says men need to swipe left if they're under 6'2". 
have a beard are religious, love to hunt, and are overweight. Looks like it's over for her. At the bottom of her profile, it says single with three cats. She definitely reeks of expired tuna casserole, and that's why the cats love her. She'll get married eventually. To the government, that is. Moving on, we have Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, saying that rioting, looting, and burning of his country is all thanks to video games and bad parenting. It's not because of the millions of migrants coming in and working in the country. His body language says, it's not my fault. It makes me wonder how long before he blames incels and men going their own way too. It's our fault even though we don't riot, but instead work, save money, and keep to ourselves. Number 25 in the last one is a guy that got bullied at work so much that he decided to go with a bang and basically stole 170,000 pounds from his bosses and spent it all on one weekend with cocaine and prostitutes. He looks like a very happy man after that. That's because he got more feminine affection and attention in a single weekend than he'll get for the rest of his life. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Remember, I make these for free, so donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below if you want more content like this. Also, once again, check out MGTOW TV for content that you can't get anywhere else. You're definitely going to enjoy it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.